Okay, so this is a Tech Addicts Addict short. I'm CJ, your local friendly technology addict. Hello, everybody. Let's do it completely out of order here. So as you can see, all of the squelch levels are identical, and I've already edited them, by the way. Um, the stock value, if you go into Chirp and look at the testing app, or testing settings for this radio, all of the squelch values are set for 255. That being the default, the default not working, I decided to avoid the default in all cases. Squelch level zero is wide open and whether I put a value there or not. Um, so the stock value 255 or my value 0, in either case, when I go to squelch 0, it breaks open the squelch wide open, no problem there. Squelch level 1, I put value 1. Squelch level 2, I put value 2. Squelch level 3, I put value 4. Those of you who work information technology, those of you who have had a computer for more than a minute, you know what I'm doing here. The next squelch value is 8, the next one is 16, 32, 64, 128, and then finally 254. Not 256, not 255, but 254. This seems to work, at least to some degree, but once I use an external antenna, I wind up with a noise floor that's so high that it breaks the squelch on all of the settings, and it's the same that you see right here. It's just that, that fluttery, barely even breaking it. There's not even a signal there, guys. Okay, so I take that back. There's a very, 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 very light fluttering. If I break the squelch wide open, you can hear there's almost like a uh, kind of a thing going on. But still, it's such a weak signal it should not be breaking the squelch when I've got the squelch on nine and it doesn't matter if I use the factory default setting for that or if I use my chirp edited setting for that it's still breaking the squelch on the highest setting and there's not enough there to break the squelch it should not be doing that so that's a common problem apparently with the Bofungs um, as what I've seen it affects the UV 5R it affects the UV 3 it affects the 888 the uh, UV 82 um, so it's apparently just a common issue with Bofung, but you might um, you might have different mileage than me. Just something I wanted to share. Um, it's annoying because I've got 60 channels, 70 channels, somewhere in that area, uh, programmed into this thing, and I'm already skipping such a large number of them so that I can scan without squelch getting broken. That you know there there are some of those channels, some of those repeaters that I've got in there are active enough. I don't want to miss traffic on them, but if I don't skip them, then I'm going to be constantly, you know, skipping a channel on scan every 10, 15 seconds because I'll keep coming to the same three or four channels that have just enough noise floor on them to break the squelch. Of course, if I'm not using an external antenna, if I've only got the stock rubber duck, it isn't as big of a problem. But then again, that's because the stock rubber duck is a crap antenna that doesn't have any gain. I'm an amateur radio operator, and part of the whole idea of that is trying to pull in the weak signal. So if I've got a repeater right on the edge of the radio horizon, I'd like to be able to hear it. So I'm going to use an external antenna, and I'm going to make a homemade antenna, and I'm going to try to get the most out of that that I can, but on Squelch 9, it should not be breaking the Squelch like this, because I'm not always going to be trying to pick up that Earth, Moon, Earth, you know, signal. Sometimes I just want to hear the guys that are five miles around the corner. So, 
Something to keep in mind, if, if you're a new ham and you're looking to purchase a Bofung, um, save your money and get a better radio, seriously. So until next time, stay tuned, subscribe if you like. I'm CJ, your local friendly technology addict, signing off.